Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, please hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on notifications so that you do not miss when I put up a new video. Be sure to like, comment, and s I already said subscribe. Look at that, I'm already messing up on this video! Nevertheless, be sure to like and comment and share with somebody that you care about. For today's topic, we're going to talk about how to beat negative thoughts, right? Negative thoughts. It happens to all of us. There's no human being who is excluded from this inevitability, okay? It just had it, it happens. Let me tell you about a personal experience really quick, as I'm sure many of you could as well. Please drop a uh, comment down below just kind of with your experiences with negative self-talk if it's something that you can acknowledge as being a problem. Yesterday, actually, um, I was on a really big positive kick <clears throat> for about a week and just just yesterday I got overwhelmed with grief I'm dealing with some withdrawals from not having some medications the last couple of days and kind of just getting back on track with everything and really just rebuilding my future however things just hit me at a freight train speed and I became depressed I was very very much in that self-deprecating place and it's not a good place to be it's not it is not a good place to be so you know I took that moment to get up and run in place but also give myself a chance to feel because I've heard the comments before Tony you're you're too happy well I have a reason to be in the position that I am I've been through a significant amount in my life and I've just chosen at this point to take trust and love the process of life sometimes that's really difficult you know we're all stuck in that thought loop sometimes but the impact of negativity negative thoughts aren't just annoying they can be on track to ruin your day it sets the tone the first five minutes the first 10 minutes the first 20 minutes of a day can sometimes be the tone of the remainder of the day if you're not careful and cautious of what's going through your head or what kind of media you are consuming identifying a negative thoughts first step identify the negativity what's your go-to negative talk what what is it because we all have one that's like oh, i don't know if i'm ready for this oh i can't do this oh we're gonna be late for the bill again you know those types of scenarios that they, they're very common amongst us as we navigate through life Next, you need to challenge those thoughts. We need to challenge them. Ever try talking back to that little voice in your head? You should try it. It really works. Replace these negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Replace I can't with I can. It sounds silly, but it's true. We need to give ourselves the opportunity to change and rewire that routine because that's really what it is. Negativity can be a routine and misery loves company, trust me. Use a physical anchor. Rub your thumb and your forefinger together or tap your foot. Find some way to express this negative talk and get it out. For me, it's music, right? Or doing content, being an influencer, doing things like this. This is one of my main mediums of really helping me process. For some, it might be going to work. For some, it may be going to church. A visual aid may be really helpful as well. Maybe starting a journal. Jot these things down so that you can manifest them onto paper paper to which point you can either burn that documentation you can file it away lock it in a lockbox, put it in a concealed note on your iphone or android so on and so forth it's some distraction techniques sometimes it's not about facing the thought but redirecting your focus so if you're in a panic prone state maybe it's time in that moment to pick up a mop and start cleaning or maybe just maybe start returning those emails that you said you would. Maybe give a phone call to somebody that you have not talked to in a little while who would really love to hear your voice. Seeking support. You don't have to go at it alone. Friends, there is a support network there for you. There are communities, there are friends, there are families, there are professionals as well, and there is no shame in therapy. In closing, we all need to understand that negative self-talk is just a part of life. Sometimes it will hit us at the most inconvenient moments where we are not ready. You're not your thoughts. You are the one listening to them. Remember that. You have the power to change the narrative. If you found this useful, smash that like button and leave a comment below on a story that you have where you had to overcome negative self-talk. Remember that you are loved and that you matter. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.